Hey everybody, my name is Philip. I'm an animal keeper here in African Rift Valley at and today I'm here to introduce to you the only mob family that you need to be involved with, and that is our meerkat mob right here at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. Now in this exhibit, we have eight meerkats. We have a mom, a dad, who are named Dusty and Kamikaze. And then we also have six younger ones. We have an older brother named Nugget. He does a really great job of looking out for the group, making sure that nobody's getting into too much trouble. And then we have five younger siblings. Now, when we were naming these younger siblings, they were all part of the same litter. And we really wanted to make sure that we gave them a name that really meant something and something that really spoke to what they contributed to the mob family as a whole. So because of that, we named them all after synonyms for the word chaos, because these five meerkat pups have provided only that since day one. Now, their names are Frenzy, Havoc, Mayhem, Hullabaloo, and Pandemonium. And because here at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, we like to promote our animals to do the things that they really love to do, which in this case is cause chaos. We're gonna have a little bit of an enrichment competition with our meerkats today, and we're gonna see which enrichment item they like the most. So let's head on in. All right, so the first enrichment item that we are going to give to our meerkat mob are ferret balls. It's one of their favorite toys they can climb inside. And to make it even more exciting, we're gonna add about 50 crickets that are alive so that these meerkats can hunt them out and have a little playtime here in the dirt. So I'm gonna set these up right over here in the sun where they love to sunbathe for most of the day as well. All right. Now this species is native to Southern Africa. They're gonna spend a lot of their life underground, but during the day they do spend a lot of time above ground hunting for different things. They are insectivores, so it is typical for them to eat crickets like this in the wild. They'll also eat cockroaches, and they've even been seen hunting down scorpions and snakes with one another as well. So we are gonna dump these crickets in and see how much these meerkats like these ferret balls. Now I'm trying to stay quiet so you can hear their little munching sounds, which is one of my favorite parts of being around the meerkats. They're always loving any insects that we give them. The next enrichment item we're gonna see if we can get over this wall without our KA Kate here soaking myself or her. It is just a simple water tub. Like I said before, these meerkats spend a lot of time underground, so they can get quite dirty and they are gonna muddy this water up pretty quickly once I set it down and dump these cockroaches inside. Now being a mongoose species, they are very quick, very small, and this species is actually one of the most social of them all. And that is because they're something called eusocial, which means that they have a very strict social group and social dynamic that they abide to for most of their life. Most mobs will consist of one mom and dad who are um, responsible for keeping the order. And then the litters of the mom and dad are responsible for helping to raise the following litters. So like I mentioned before, Nugget is the older brother. And since these pups were born, he played just as much of a role in the care of these little ones as did mom and dad, Dusty and Kamikaze. Now I think our answer here is pretty clear. They are enjoying those ferret balls still a lot more than they're enjoying this tub of water with the crickets inside of it. Now another really cool thing about them is that they can spot a bird of prey from about a thousand feet into the clear blue sky. So you can see here, this is Kamikaze, he's the dad. He kind of has a furrowed brow look all the time. He's really aware of something that's going on up there in those clouds. And so that might be why these meerkats are a little hesitant to interact with their enrichment because they're keeping an eye out for any sorts of threats that might be coming. I'm gonna dump a couple more crickets in here, see if anybody's interested. Now they're using their little claws to grab those crickets out. Dusty here in the very center is the mom and she is using her mouth. And um, those claws are so long because they do burrow very quickly. Now if you come to the zoo on any summer day, you'll probably see keepers in the meerkat exhibit that are digging dirt and moving it to the opposite side. 
And that's because it takes one keeper about an hour to move all this dirt across the exhibit. And it takes these meerkats about 15 minutes to put it right back. So they are excellent diggers and excellent dirt movers. Lastly, what is typically a favorite enrichment item of, of the meerkats is this ball pit that we have here. I've just dumped even more crickets inside of it. And it looks like this might be a real winner. We've got a couple who have been brave enough to dive on in. Everybody else is looking like they're a little bit shy to get their toes wet today. Oh, there we go. Looks like that's little Havoc is his name. About to be joined by his brother Mayhem, who's the one who's kneeling up right there on the top. Now we tell our meerkats apart by all their different um, colors and markings on their body. Their tail is one really easy way to tell who is who because a lot of their tails are different lengths and have different amounts of black on them. Now it looks like they're still very aware of a possible threat in the area. Maybe a Cooper's hawk or something flew by. But that is perfectly normal. That is natural behavior that we like to see. When they're hesitant around their enrichment, that means that they are still being meerkats and doing their job of looking out for predators. Now right here on the very right, you can see there's Kamikaze. He, like I mentioned before, has that nice furrowed brow and his son Nugget right here has a similar look to his face. And that's one way that you can tell Nugget apart, apart from his very, very short, stumpy tail. So enrichment is always a little bit of a test. What we just did now is we took some of those ball pit balls out and tried to encourage them to get in because it might have been a little bit too deep for them. It looks like it worked because now we have Dusty and Kamikaze and Little Havoc in there as well. And they're finding all those delicious crickets at the very bottom. Now they do have those nice dark eyes and that is one of the reasons why they can see so far, as you can see, these guys are definitely standing at high alert. That's one reason they can see so far and the sun doesn't hurt their eyes. It's because that dark marking actually acts almost like sunglasses that Dusty is showing off there. And that helps them to be able to stare at the sky for a lot of the day. We can't wait to see you guys back at the zoo sometime soon. And please make sure to come by and visit our meerkat mob to see what enrichment they're interacting with that day. Have a great rest of your day.